Hello and welcome to What's Up Thailand, the show that brings you know all about the real and unique Thailand and talk to guests who live in Thailand. You hear with me, Nat. The previous episode, we talked about Thai superstition. So today, we are going to talk about the superstition in the U.S. with Tua and Alex. Since since that I'm a I'm an English teacher, but since this is a podcast, sometimes I I I, I use English slang, or I I use a Thai accent, a m a r i k a Yeah, yeah. a m a r i k a because it's fun. And how do you how do you say Korea? g a o l i right? g a o l i g a o l i yeah. g a o l i Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I, li- I like to say the Thai word g a o l i and p a r a n g s e p a r a n g s e p a r a n g s e yeah. p r o t o k e t you never you you. Ah. I think can you guess p r o t o k e t in English? What say it again? p r o t o k e t Portugal. p r o t oh. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Right? Yeah. Well, I'm, yes. I'm, yeah. I was just guessing. I was just guessing. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. That's the p o r and the t and the g, so I don't know. Mm. What about Japan? That one is. Japan. Oh, totally different. What? Japan. Japan. Oh, Japan. Yeah. 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 China, Jean, Jean, ah, right? Yeah, you know Jean. that. Yeah, yeah. Jean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's it, it's something I like about the Thai language is that you don't say like you don't say like uh, what what's an example of something that's different with the adjective and uh, so the country Thailand. And the people, they are Thai, Thai right. people. Uh-huh. But but in Thailand or in Thai, you say the country is Thai. Mm-hmm. I'm Thai mm-hmm. and I'm from Thai. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But but then I say I'm American, American, and I'm from America, mm-hmm. America. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But then you then but you say I'm what. Con America, right? Yeah, American yes. person. Yes, yes. Yeah. Con America, Con America. Um, yes. or maybe we say we could say Con Salad. Salad. Sahara. Sahara. Yeah, United States. Sahara. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all for today. Yeah. How about you, Alex? Do you have a superstition? Yeah, in US. Ah, uh, yeah, we do have some superstitions. I I don't think people believe them that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know about the black? Yeah, I heard. Sorry, the the, the a, black. If you see a if you see a black cat, uh huh. Oh, it's it's bad luck. Oh. I think it's gobo, gobo. Global superstition. I think a lot of superstitions in America are mm-hmm. global. Mm-hmm. Like there's something, something from something from a movie or something. Yeah. Uh, we also have. Um, I don't know if you know about knocking on wood. No. If you if you knock. With your hand, not like. Ah, uh. you. Uh, sometimes you have to. Um, how, how do I explain it? If sometimes if you say something, if you say something bad will happen, mm-hmm. or uh, you you talk about a bad thing that might happen, uh, then you have to knock on wood, or it will happen. So, um, if I say mm-hmm. like. If I say like I, I hope I don't get 
COVID-19. <laughs> and it's like, oh, no, I said it, so I'm going to get COVID-19 because I, I said something like, I hope I don't get COVID-19. Oh, I'm going to get it tomorrow. So you have to find wood, like a wooden table or a tree. Uh, and I hope I don't get COVID or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's just, I think it's, a, I think it's a joke for most people. Mm -hmm. But mm. some people are serious about it. And then mm. another one. Uh, do you know about the number? Because we were talking about uh, numerology. Mm. There, there's, uh, there's a number uh, three sixes. What is it? Uh, six six six. The number six. Oh, six hundred sixty six. Ah, uh, six six six. This is this is uh, this is uh, from the Bible. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's a Christian uh, belief that it's like the number of Satan. So it's the it's like the sign of uh, the end of the world. So if you see the number, you might think about the end of the world, you might think about the devil from the Bible. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're a Christian or if you're from a country where Christianity is the main religion, you will probably be afraid of that number. Mm -hmm. Six, 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 right? Mm -hmm. If you wow. see, like, like, actually today I saw it on, uh, on the back of a car. I saw the, the license plate. It said like six 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 six. Mm -hmm. I think it's four. I don't know, but yeah, some people are afraid of uh, mm. seeing that number. Like maybe there's a a ghost or something if you see it. Like it's mm -hmm. it's to see. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, for some people, it can be scary. Yeah. And how about you? Do you believe that? Um, I, I don't think anything bad will happen if you see the number, mm -hmm. but it's still, it's still scary sometimes. Mm. Mm. How about 13? Is 13 a scary, a scary number like we, 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 we know, we see from the movie? Uh, 13 is not... Uh, uh, it's not a scary number, but Friday the 13th oh, Friday. is a scary day. Mm -hmm. And then a full moon. Do you know about a full moon? Full the different moon? phases of the moon when the moon is a circle. Uh -huh. mm. Full moon party. That's Friday. when... That's when... <laughs> Uh, but but we're not excited about a full moon in America. <laughs> yeah, it means something supernatural will happen, mm -hmm. like a ghost or a or a, a vampire or a werewolf or a zombie. Or yeah, mm -hmm. which a full moon on Friday the thirteenth. Oh, I remember in Japanese comic, some someone can turn into a wolf on a full moon night. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, at my old job, I used to work in a hospital, and it mm. seemed like when there was a full moon, we had more people come to the hospital. Oh. Mm. So uh, we thought, uh, we always joked that when there's a full moon, we will get a lot of new patients in the hospital. People would come to the hospital and it would be a crazy night because I, I worked at night. Mm. So if it was a full moon and, and I came to work, I would think, oh, they need to they need to give us like holiday pay, you know, 
like if you work on the holiday, you can get paid more money because it's mm -hmm. Christmas or something. If, if you work on the night of a full moon, they should give you more money because it's going to be a crazy night. <laughs> so it's like the like opposite. It. <laughs> the, yeah. It's like the opposite of a full moon party. It's like full moon hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a party, it's hell. It's <laughs> hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what did you do? And then the last one. Yeah. Huh? What did you do uh, in the hospital? What is your, your job? Uh, I worked I, in behavioral health. So um, I worked with psychologists and nurses and doctors mm -hmm. and I worked with people with mental health problems. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That to give them advice when they are serious or when they have a mental problem? Uh, yeah, give them advice. Uh, sometimes I would teach about how to cope with anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. And um, I would also check on them because I have to make sure they are safe. And sometimes there are 20 people that I have to watch them because sometimes they want to hurt themselves or hurt another person. So I have to watch them. Uh, in, 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 uh, okay, I, I, I remember one thing that you talk about a bad cat. Uh, yeah. When <clears throat> in Thailand, we, we have this, I think, uh, but the, when the bad cat happened in the funeral and the bad cat cross <laughs> the in Thailand we, we have a, about three to seven day funeral ceremony. Yeah. Uh -huh. Three to seven night. Yeah, and the monk will come to play yeah in in, in the in the event and when we see a bad cat cross the it's a, like a, a, a couple to, to keep the body. It's, I don't know in English. It, 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 it's, huh? Coffin. Coffin, right? Oh, really? C-O-F-F-I-N. C-O-F-F-I-N. Yeah. Coffin. Yeah. When the yeah. black cat cross the coffin, uh, it's supposed to be that uh, there's going to be a ghost come from the body. We can expect to say the, the the electricity is cut in the event or thing like that. Yeah, it's not very it's not very good. It's not very good to see the black cat. It's not very good. Quite it's bad actually. Yeah, you know I it, had it, to. It mean off. that I had to turn off my aircon because now <laughs> now the story the story about the black cat is making me. Yeah, it's, Shiver. it's some some. Uh, it means that the the body, the the dead the dead person is something has something in their mind has it have worry or maybe they are they are got they have got murder and the the, uh, the someone who who who, who, who take who, who killed if he is not get arrest from the police so there may be that is a sign that there could be something unclear unsolved or have to be clear yeah that yeah thing like that mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah so you don't know you don't yeah, know i, know. Uh, I, I maybe know. maybe i don't know if it's the same in america i don't know the story about the black cat i just know a black cat is bad luck <laughs> that's oh, it yeah. Oh, but yeah. there's one more thing I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, we sometimes we say cross your fingers. Mm -hmm. Do you know about crossing your fingers? Cross, cross finger for you it's is like, it yeah, lucky? Yeah, it's like luck. I think it's like luck and believing that you can do it. Like. Um, 
I think you can cross your finger for another person. Like I'm crossing my fingers. Like I, I hope you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just means uh, you, you're having confidence that you can do it, oh. or you have good luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I I don't think it's I don't think people believe it. I think it's it's a part of speech. It's a way of speaking English. Like uh, it's like a it's like an idiom. Mm -hmm. ah, it's like if I say, it. it's like if I say, I wish you well. Have you heard that? I wish mm -hmm. you well. I could say like I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I hope it, I hope it works. Ah. So it's it's not. I don't think it's a belief. I think it's a, uh, just an idiom that has mm -hmm. the meaning. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone that says like, oh no, I didn't cross my fingers. So. That's why I failed. Uh, oh. yeah. oh. I, I, I should have studied harder and I should have crossed my fingers before I took the exam. <laughs> no one. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's not make sense. Oh. It's not true. <laughs> Never heard it before. <laughs> it's not, it's not, no one, I don't think anyone believes it, but they just say it. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. yeah. okay. You can try it, don't you? Can try. You can do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all for this week. Thanks for listening to What's Up Thailand. See you next podcast. Have a nice day. Bye.